sounds good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel to love what you drive. We have a Crown Vic here and this is my friend Henry. Hey guys, how you doing? Henry's <laughs> out here and today I'm showing uh, Art my 2006 Ford Crown Victoria P71. Uh, so this car I got for my friend, funny enough, um, I played Dungeons & Dragons with him and I, I was on Facebook Marketplace one day and I was just scrolling through because I'm getting just crazy car guy, okay? <laughs> and I came across this car and it said in Hamilton somehow, which is funny because I lived like five minutes away from him and it said that I knew him somehow on Facebook. So I messaged him and I messaged my friend Chuck and I was just like, yo, is, it, is this Dan? I'm just like, do I know who this guy is? And he's like, yeah, dude, you, you, play, you play Dungeons and Dragons with him every Saturday. I'm just like, bruh. I'm just like, can you ask him? He's like, ask him yourself. So I hit him up over text. I'm just like, yo, can I see the car tomorrow? And he was selling it for, believe it or not, $1,200. Because I still had the listing description. I can probably show you after so you can put it in the uh -huh. video. It, it's funny because he said, oh yeah, V8 engine doesn't run, needs work, <laughs> needs engine work. I'm just like, okay, that's fine. Uh -huh. So I went over there the next day. I inspected it. This thing from what i can look at it it's been painted blue but you can see by some of the paint that's peeling like on the hood right here and then on some of the door jams and everything it's yellow so yeah, it's a yellow underneath okay so, someone told me that this car used to be a taxi and i sent um one of our friends peter another another panther owner he's uh -huh. like hey th your car kind of looks like uh a nypd cop car i'm just like what are you talking about so i can show you later on the hood when i pop it there's uh -huh. like a hidden little siren that's disconnected and the air box has a little like hole of like a mesh thing showing his nypd cop car and then the second thing that peter pointed out was if you look under the car uh -huh. there is a actual a, a thick thick splash shield and I, I showed peter this and just like yo my car got had that too when i got it and my car was an nypd detective car i'm just like no way so like this car had all the things of being an NYPD car or used by the NYPD. Yeah. So he told me that this car could have possibly been an undercover taxi NYPD cop car. I see. Okay. Which is like really weird. But when I got the car fax from the guy, it said 10 years, six months of service in New York and Elizabeth, New Jersey. I'm just like, that makes a lot of sense. And this thing, believe it or not, guys, it only has 46,000 miles 46, on it. 46,000? 46,000 oh, wow. miles. I, I, he showed me the title. I was just like, I need to see the title myself. It said 40, 45,000. Like, I, I, I've driven I this thought one. when I got mine, it had 77, but 46. Yeah, 46. So like, these are insane. the stock uh, P71 wheels, right? They're cop yeah. wheels. Yeah, these are stock ones that came on it. And you're running, what, 235, 55, 17s? Yep. I recently just got the tires done on them and open alignment. So okay. this thing drives very smooth with the mileage and everything. Running like running on Falcons? Yep. Runs just like a new car. Okay, so uh, you bought it for 12 1200 bucks. Yep. What made you buy a P71 or a Crown Vic? Why didn't you go for a Honda Civic or a Camry or a <laughs> It's funny you should say that because I actually come from Hondas. Right. I, I have a 02 Acura RSX manual six speed. Okay. And I, I had that as my first car and that's really what I got into cars with because I, I learned how to work on my own cars and right. I never really went to school for that. So after having that car for a while, I was just like, I need a I need a branch shot. I need something real wheel drive v8 you know yeah. I, I always told my friend he had a, a gmc yukon he's like let's get a v8 man this is pretty good so i'm just like all right i i gotta do something so one day uh, i think it's like uh about a, eight months ago i was on facebook marketplace again you know gotta get your car somehow and yep. I, I saw my o3 cop car and that car i bought that for two thousand four hundred dollars up in north bergen county and that's that was my first p71 what happened to that one so unfortunately, a week or two ago, I was going to work and it was a little wet, taking a corner and I kind of slid out and then went right in self cleaning utility pole. Sorry well, about my language, but that's all right. We'll unfor put a, unfortunately, put a quack or something. <laughs> that's what happens when you know you go right into the utility pole. Okay, so you spun out and hit a pole, huh? <laughs> yep. All right, what have you done to this car that um, maybe didn't have before you got it? Uh, did you before, do anything to it? Did you mod so it in any far, way? So far, 
so far in this car i've only just done uh maintenance on it i've seen that the uh all the front oil cooler lines and transmission mm -hmm. cooler lines are leaking so i was gonna go about replacing that and having to do an oil change i'm gonna do the rear diff fluid i've already done the dorman uh transmission pan with the oil drain plug that's on it okay, with the new cool. filter and fluid so, so, so it came far, uh, dual that. exhaust stock yep this is a p71 if you do check the vin right yeah. on the window in the window but yeah i got some plans and see what i can really do with it i mean i initially wasn't really ever going to modify the exhaust because i wanted just a quiet car to cruise but i'm thinking about it's maybe, not modified right no this it's isn't stock. modified okay it's stock but i'm thinking about getting something with the exhaust done on it but you like loud p71s we'll yeah You're like i'm loud and rowdy uh, some some p71s <laughs> do sound nice when they have like a good exhaust done to it yeah especially with like some mufflers i know one of my friends brett brett he has a p71 and he's got like some class packs on it which is are pretty good but yeah you can see the that's so underside the yellow yeah. like it's this paint is clearly is this, painted over yeah is this paint or yeah is it this like is just plastic paint. dip or something this is paint that was just done really badly on it to cover up the yellow that's but the original color on it is yellow yeah the door jam okay. and everything and then yeah, as you can see on the roof right here my bad body work Oh, so, I see it. it's so funny because like uh, a couple weeks before I quit my old job, I was sitting in this car on lunch and it was raining and then water just started coming out of the doorway. I'm like, what the, <laughs> what the heck is going on? And my friend's like, yo, you got to leave. I'm just like, oh crap. And when I got this car, there was like a couple cracks right on the roof. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh man, because like this car probably had some siren or light drilled oh, through it. So yeah. they had that and I saw that the bondo was chipping off. So. I had to do some body work my first time, but I just covered it up and it looks all right. No one's gonna look yeah, at it. Yeah, nobody right. looks up there anyways. It okay. makes sense. So you but pretty yeah. much did nothing except for maintenance and? Yeah, right now so far, I'm just trying to get it running good. Right now it runs really good, just slowly doing the maintenance on yeah. it. Oh, sorry, how long have you had it? I've only had it for about like a month or so. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've been switching it, driving back and forth with the other cop car, but yeah. now I have to daily drive this. Okay, yeah, so I sense. also uh, put out a, uh, we're in this little uh, group chat on Instagram. Yeah. And I put out a shout out if anybody wanted to just uh, let me film their car. And Henry, I think, was the first one that said, hey, I'm down for that whenever you are. So here we are here. Uh, what city are we in? We are in Princeton. 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 Yeah, okay. Princeton's right down the street, actually 10 minutes away. The university's right there, too. Yeah, that's true. And uh, the main street with all the restaurants and all that good stuff there. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is his car. Um, if you want to show us what's in your trunk. Oh, yeah. And show us all the ins and outs, everything you know. All right. So, usually the way I have my, my car set up, especially this one. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, the spare tire, I just didn't forget the unmount. It's actually supposed to be flipped the other way. Okay. So, you can actually like kind of put stuff in it. And it's but, a full-size spare? Yeah, it's a full-size spare that comes with it. Do you know how wide these are? Uh, these ones? I gotta check. The P71, like the police car, I think they're, because mine are 17s by 7, mm -hmm. but I think the cop car ones are 17 by 9, because they look wider than mine. Yeah, if I remember the, the P71s for the cop car ones, they might be a little bit wider. Yeah. Yeah. The you know, civilian ones, I think you can actually just put a civilian uh, wheel on here. I did have a set of like regular LX sport wheels, but yeah. I never tried to put them on. But when I, when someone said that they would fit, you'd probably have to do like a spacer or different lug Oh nuts. yeah, yeah. Man, it's, okay, so it's yellow. I mean like, yep. it's yellow everywhere. You can see like the trunk though was painted, which is weird because like, why would they paint some of the, the body blue and then leave yeah. some of it yellow? But that's, that's the, the car is yellow. The car is yellow. Originally. So, Which is weird. Yeah, no, I'll yeah, show you the doors too. Like if you open the doors, you can see that even like the door jams right there were painted yeah. blue. Like there but, was some detail that went into it. But definitely yellow, yeah, because you can see like it's all in there. Yep. Okay, so what are you packing back here? This is just what you usually This is usually what I carry when I'm driving like different cars. So this bag is my go bag, which is apparently like really funny. Like in here, mm -hmm. I have like a toolkit ready, I have a spare tarp, and then in here is another bag with like a tire plug kit. Oh, wow. uh, I okay. have my 19 mil socket, a breaker bar. I have everything to help someone if they ever, you yeah, know, yeah. get stranded on the side of the road, which funny enough did happen like a week or two ago. I think P70 Bruh. Uh, yeah, in you our went group out chat. To help him? Yeah, I went out and oh, helped him. His, word, his, <laughs> one of his spark plugs shot out, and we thought like his car was like messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was one of the cylinders on 
the left and it just shot out into the boot went there i was just like that looks weird because he started the car and that one moved do you remember who's told them about the spark plug uh someone someone said it. i think either, that either, was me. it was either you <laughs> yeah it was you okay because i think it was either tom or you that yeah, told yeah. us about the spark plug shooting oh, out man, yeah but once i got there and i fixed it he was running all good yeah you know? i remember that night because he yeah. was like oh guys my car my car and i i hit up my friend who had like a ford econoline who had the same sound when his plug blew out oh yeah and it was just like pop 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 so we're like it was a quick diagnose because uh i've never met a community of people that are um so into helping one another like oh the, yeah like the panther community honestly i come from hondas as well oh yeah really yeah so i me and my brothers used to drive hondas and build them and so that my mercury is the first one that's like a american v8 so that's nice okay so you got all your stuff yep if anyone's stranded like yeah they get bra. stranded <laughs> you know i got some coal in the bag i got some oil i got so right now i have to do the rear diff so okay i work at napa so it's pretty okay. nice i get discounts for the nice. parts i order and buy <laughs> so i got all this ready got the fuel filter i got a honda filter i gotta do the oil change on my dad's crv okay. and just have like two oil filters for a, a p71 yeah. And back here, I have uh, in like the lunchbox, I have a spare starter for this car. For this car. Because when I had the O3 cop car and I was going to do the motor mounts, removing one of the motor mounts requires moving the starter. Wow. One of the three bolts on the very bottom that is always exposed to the floor and like the salt and everything, I went like this. Oop. And, and it book. snapped clean yeah. off. And I was just like, okay, I guess if I ever get stranded anywhere, I got a spare starter. Yeah. So it really well, makes any sense, you know. Definitely a true car guy when he's got everything in his... Oh, uh, I'm prepared to help anyone, especially myself. <laughs> it makes any yeah. sense, you know. Okay, this is the trunk. Let's, uh, let's go look under the hood. All right. And see what we got under there. Let's pop that. So on my channel, we have uh, a Lincoln Town car, mm -hmm. L which is the long wheelbase. We got the 1994 Mercury Grand Marquis. Nice. Then we got my 06 that we're gonna get Armon on. And now we're gonna have this 06, right? 06? Yeah, 06. Crown Vic, okay. What do we got going here on in here that you can tell us about? So under here, when I took a picture of the engine bay and I showed Peter and everybody in the group chat, he noticed this little vent thingy that was drilled in and then like they bolted this pad and like this, this looks like scotch bright. It's not even really like a filter. Yeah. But Peter said that his car has exactly this on his air box. And you can see like a hidden siren right here that yep. is clearly disconnected with all this wiring going everywhere. Especially the spaghetti noodles over there, you know. Oh yeah. I, I'm not even I'm kinda scared to even like touch some of these switches right here because yeah, yeah. this car, it came actually with an immobilizer that does actually work. Okay. Which well. is actually really rare because this is a P seventy one and most of them did not come from yeah. your car and like the civilian ones, like a regular car would come with a key fob and like a passive yeah, yeah. anti-death system but p71s didn't this car was modified so it had a immobilizer set system and everything in it so that's kind of cool yeah we can definitely see all the wire like i mean they're just somebody definitely took the time to hook up whatever they yep. had or had on here okay uh 46 000 miles yep uh clean title yeah, clean title, 46,000 miles, and the um, odometer wasn't rolled back or anything. And I, if you actually look under the car, this was the, the main thing. I was like, I can't trust the miles. Yeah. I looked under the car. I checked to see if there's rust. If you look under the car, you will see the pinch welds are still there with the yellow color. There's like almost no rust at all. Wow. It's amazing. We'll, so that's uh, the thing we'll I'm dive under and take a peek, or at least the camera will. Yeah. Have you done anything to to this engine underneath uh, on the engine side not really just doing an oil change and mm -hmm. just a basic maintenance i might um get like a intake okay but so far i'm just trying to do maintenance yeah nothing really performance wise okay i'm just waiting for my intake to crack you know because i'm pretty <laughs> sure <laughs> oh, that's the, the manifold one. yep yeah okay. making sense so far i think i have to also replace the belt Ida Rapoli and then the belt tensioner because I usually do that. Yeah. On the O3 cop car, when I did the uh, belt tensioner, that bolt, I went to loosen it. That thing was finger loose. I was like, what the? Oh, wow. It made no sense at all. So 
I gotta yeah, make sure that's all good. Off. So what, yeah. this is just a vent for the box or? Yeah, this is just, I, I think it's a vent for the box, but like seeing as I'm pressing down on it, it just seems like it's something there for like, like, like a symbol for some reason. Yeah. It's, it's really weird, I don't know. But if you ask Peter Hanna on yeah. our group chat, he has the same thing on his car. You didn't look if it's drilled all the way through? No, I don't believe so. When I replaced the yeah. air intake the filter, mm -hmm. it wasn't drilled through or anything. So there's no really difference in the intake sound. Oh, okay. So here's what, what I noticed. This is a P71 snorkel. Yeah. But this, since it has these, that's what I had on my Mercury, and then I replaced it with a P71, which mm -hmm. had this cut off, and yeah. it just a, that's a interesting combination now that I think about it. There is a P71 police interceptor snorkel, because mm -hmm. mine, came it was like that big yeah very pretty small, small for yeah. a civilian but it did have this with the sound deadening uh, little chambers yeah if you notice also the um p71s usually come with those blue silicone yep. hoses which are heavy duty as you can see this one and some of the other ones which are supposed to be blue especially the upper radiator hose one yeah it's not blue it's not which is really weird because if you see over here the vin it does say it's a p71 which is really weird Let's see. Yeah, right there. Yeah, so uh, it is a P71, but somehow it doesn't have some of the P71 P71 stuff. W. Okay, maybe in the comment section when uh, this video does go up, if you know these combinations or what, like I said, the snorkel is big, but that, and then you, we saw the VIN. That's very interesting, man. Yeah. Somebody's definitely been up to something or uh, they were undercover like taxi or something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm initially How's it, the engine running? The engine runs, runs smooth. absolutely smooth. No problems with the timing chain, tensioners, or any ticking or anything. Which I'm hoping because as long as you do your oil changes every four to 5,000 full synthetic, yep. which I recommend, you'll be fine. All right. Uh, the know. question is, do you run Motorcraft filter? Yes, sir. <laughs> right now, currently, I'm not running a Motorcraft filter because I just buy all my parts of Napa. Oh, yeah. Napa yeah. oil filters are Wix, so if you do go to okay. Napa, I recommend it. Yep. But I would try to recommend sticking to Motorcraft yeah, parts. Yeah. Okay, Make yeah, because there's some, uh, I got some heat on the channel before, but you're not using Motocraft or something. Oh, yeah. You know, there's, Obviously. which, I mean, it is what it is, but. Yeah, it's always good to stick to OEM, but sometimes Motocraft parts are expensive. Yep. So, are. yeah, I just got to think with your wallet, guys. Okay, that's it for the engine. Um, yeah, looks good. All right. Blue and yellow. You can go ahead and shut it. Uh, let's take a look under, maybe we'll go look under here to see the rust or oh, yeah. the no rust. So as most panthers and people of crown vix and p71s know the rocker panel especially right here where all the dirt and dust collect and all the salt and grime it usually rusts us away as you can see still paint here yep no rust absolutely mint we look under pinch welds still absolutely fine there doesn't even look like any surface rust like just oh. look at it this, what is this cross member here? This, all right, so this cross member okay. is the cross member that bolts one side of the body to the other, and you see that thick plate right yeah, here? Yeah. That's the NYPD plate that Peter oh, pointed well, out. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's really thick. So as you can see, it, it bolts to this cross member, yep. and then bolts to the front of the car right there. And it pretty much shields the oil pan and the front yeah, of so like the bottom uh, of the frame. jumping curbs, or if you're jumping- Pretty much. Streets. Wow, I've never seen that before. Yeah. Like that, like Peter pointed that out to me, I'm just like, hey guys, I don't know what this thick cross member is, but does anyone know about it? And then that's how I found out that. Let me try to get a better. NYPD. Okay, yeah, there it is. There's that plate. There's Super the thick. And it goes, and it just protects the oil pan and all the. Underside of the engine, yep. Whoa. Interesting, man. I'm learning some stuff here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go on the inside now and tell us what you got in there. All right. Ooh, let me unlock at that. Key fob, that works good. All right, so this is being a P71, you would think it would have the cop car seats, but look at this. SAP civilian cop seats, those which is look, really weird. Those look good. Yeah, they look like very comfy. Very comfy. Everyone says that this, this car is a lot more comfier than the other one. It's got the armrest and everything. 
And then so maybe it was like an undercover, like just a uh, investigator car? Yeah, it could have been like a street appearance package that was more hidden as opposed to like a more pronounced P71. Uh -huh. This does not have a spotlight, if you do notice and everything. Okay. Like no holes drilled in, which is okay. Yes. Dude, would you like a spotlight? <sighs> <laughs> It's like, I, I yeah. see people get a civilian model and they put all the cop gear on it. And yeah. then you get the cop car gear and they all take it off. And it's like, yeah. I got to think about it, but this one for now, I'm not going to drill any more holes. Okay, stuff. so it's got the vinyl floor mats, right? Yeah, so it's got the, the vinyl rubber. floor mats and it seems like someone's, you know, done a lot of work to it. Because you can see all this wiring run everywhere. But Maybe here's... You had a system in here, no? Yeah, I it's believe there was a system. So if you look right here, this wiring control box going to something i think it's made by wheeling i believe uh -huh. but this was replacing the cup holder that was here and driving this car sometimes going like mcdonald's or drive through man kind of sucks yeah you but gotta hold it huh i gotta remove this and i gotta replace it with a civilian cup holder but that came with the car when i saw it i thought it was kind of interesting they left it in the car yeah it's all, it says main harness parallel usb yeah i tried to use the usb but i don't think it's getting any power Okay. And then you can see down below in the seat right there, that's the center console brackets that go with a uh, police center console. So at one point, something tells me that these seats were put in this car from another car. Okay. Because I don't think that, you, like clearly you can see that center console can't go in the middle right yeah. here. So at one point, this car probably did have a center console. It's really interesting. Interesting. You got power seats? Uh, these are manual sliding bench seats. Okay. My previous O3 cop car did have power seats, was very nice. But unfortunately, this one doesn't. Most of it's all manual controls. Mm -hmm. But the interior is actually not that bad. The uh, dash trim right here, which is really easy to remove, there was a lot of holes, but mm -hmm. when I went to a junkyard, I did pull off this trim from another car. So put it in looks a lot looks good, well, yeah. lot better i like how everything is blacked out in here everything's just one dark solid color oh yeah it's all plastic so it's yep. like a yeah it's like a cop car you got the little warning this, sign right here that came like with the, the car? sirens yep it's funny because on the other this side so i have the uh, sticker also but i went to a car wash and i was vacuuming the car and i didn't know that the vacuum was that strong and it sucked, sucked it off it huh? sucked the sticker <laughs> off i'm just like i'm kind of mad that's kind of authentic yeah but I still got it okay. right there. Okay, we'll take a look back here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, same thing. You yeah, so I got all my nose. junk back here. Okay, these back seats are always good on these because nobody ever rides back here. Oh, yeah. It's so funny because you can see like the back seat's actually pretty loose. Uh -huh. I still have to lift it up and see what kind of chunks under it, but you can see that when they repaint it, you see how like they got like the inside door jams, but then you can see, boom, it's right here. Right it's there, yellow. Yeah. So it makes wow, everything very so interesting. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Like, they put work into this car to cover it up, but okay. then, like, they kind of, like, took shortcuts. Okay, I know what this is. Oh, yeah. I, I actually say. have uh, five of these. And you I was have gonna five grab, of them? Yeah, I was going to grab one to give you and Armand one. I always keep one in the car. No matter how beat up it is, I always got to stay represented. Yeah, Panther Derek? Magazine, Derek. <laughs> Derek, love the posters, man. We'll tag Derek in this video as well. Good. Got to show him that we got to love this. Got to represent Panthers, That's man. That's true, yep. Even though cool okay let's go to the driver's side oh yeah and then we'll uh have a seat in there and just kind of look around and you can tell us more about it all right we go on the driver's side seat super comfy and can i sit in it yeah go ahead sit in it okay let's do this as you can see you got the little ejecto cedo cuz the fast and furious button right here <laughs> i really don't know what that button does and i don't really want to find out pressing it but yeah. as you can see under that you got all these cut wires and stuff going to the fuse box and everything and the car runs fine no yeah. engine light and i'm not gonna touch it it's kind of funny when i went to get this car inspected at the dmv the guy looked under he couldn't find obd port because uh the previous owner or whatever messed it up and they were just like i can't find it and he's like hey you got wires hanging i was like yeah man i just got the car today uh-huh trying to give me sh so you've that. never uh pushed that button i've never pushed that button interesting Make I guess uh, I'm not sure if we're going to push it today because who knows what can happen. <laughs> nah. I mean, this button right here, which is a ground load the power, mm -hmm. it, it does flash when you try to unlock the car and then start it without pressing unlock on the immobilizer key. Mm -hmm. So there is kind of like anti-death. You can't really start it without unlocking it. Okay, and then you got a little light here that probably what blinks when the car's locked. Yeah, a little weird. 
Okay. But the car came with it, and then I mean, certified calibration. So all the police cars have that gauge. You want to show the miles? Yeah. There you go. Insert it. Okay. Oh yeah, that starts. Forty-six thousand one hundred forty-six. Yep. How many uh, idle hours? Yeah, yep. you scroll through and click it. One thousand three hundred ninety-six hours. Almost fourteen hundred. Is that bad or good? The, which that uh, that's actually pretty normal, or actually, yeah, that's pretty normal for P71s. Uh huh. Most of the higher mileage ones would usually be over three thousand, in my opinion. It's not yeah. bad though. So what was here? So right there, I assume was going to be the ticket white strobe light right there that cops pressed. But on the cop car, I did have that. But in this one, apparently didn't have it when I got it. So it is what it is. Okay. I had to find that at a junkyard and put it in. Yeah, these seats are pretty comfy. Oh, yeah. Why, why is this? Is this you put it in? No, that's actually the radio that came with the car, which it looks a little weird because you can see it's sticking out. And I always thought that it wasn't the stock radio. Yeah. So if anyone knows anything and can let me know, I guess leave it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, leave it in the comments. It could be maybe like a Ford Ranger or maybe like a Explorer or something because yeah. I know they are. But yeah, definitely somebody put that in. Yeah. And uh, your AC, your uh, heat, everything works? So I recently just got the blender actuator fixed by a good mechanic friend of mine across the street from where I work. And the heat works amazing and everything. But unfortunately, the AC doesn't really blow that cold. So I got to get that system checked. Yeah. But it said in 2018 when I got the car serviced or when the previous owner got the car serviced, the AC was done. But it's probably leaking. Okay. So I got to check. But so far, everything else on the car does work pretty well. And this is the trunk button? Yes, that is the trunk okay. button. Okay. I've never seen a steering wheel without buttons right here. Really? To be, yeah, to be honest. But I've never been inside a P71 either. <laughs> Maybe that's probably the, the reasoning. Some of the fancier P71s do have cruise control on the buttons, but mine doesn't. Yeah, very cool. I mean, it's like, it's so basic, but it's like everything in its right place. I do like the blacked out interior. Everything's just like one solid gr dark gray or like charcoal gray. Oh, yeah. Seats are comfortable and very like plushy. Okay. Um, what else can you tell us about it? Uh, so far. You got some radios here? Yeah, so far I've just been daily driving the car mm -hmm. and I got some radios for here so whenever we go to meets and we'll meet up with some people and we would go driving around we don't have to like message each other while we're texting and driving yeah. that's or on good. Instagram yeah <laughs> or on Instagram on a group chat like hey guys go here we just give Get one to radio. another and everyone just follows each other it's pretty cool. nice I guess one last thing is uh, to be would you mind giving us a ride yeah sure maybe just put down the street or whatnot yeah 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 Definitely. Okay, uh, let me take your mic. Right. I'm gonna jump in to the passenger seat and then I'll give uh, Henry the mic back. Because what's a car review without a car ride, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. You're gonna hook that up. What uh, don't you like about this car? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure, as you know, most people who have these cars aren't exactly fond of the gas mileage on it. Yeah. Because uh, it doesn't get the, the best, especially when you gotta fill it up and it tanks probably like 65 bucks a gallon, or not a gallon, but just to fill it yeah, up for the tank and everything. And especially gas prices these days. But another thing- Do you put in premium or regular? I, I put in regular because uh, it's kind of, kind of funny because if you look at the gas tank like earlier, like the gas cap, it said yeah. E85. Uh -huh. But this car, I don't believe it takes E85. And so it's not the flex fuel because no. it's, it's a W on the... Yeah, it's a, it's a W. It's not saying flex yeah, yeah. fuel. So it's just huh. really weird when I saw What it. an interesting combination. Yeah, guys, if you are watching this and you have any light that you can shine on this car, I mean, it's it's got all kinds of knickknacks from seems like a uh, Frankenstein type of a yeah. car with uh, all kinds of stuff but a lot of stuff seems to be seems to have been taken out and, and put back in for different purposes from what I can tell I guess you can say all right I guess we can turn left right here and yeah yeah no problem speed down I don't know what's going on right here but these people are going slow 
Yeah, today it rained last night like crazy. Oh yeah. It's a good thing though. No, what kind of gearing do you have in the back, Dino? Uh, I believe this one is a 327 okay. LSD. Does make any sense? Wow, that picks up and goes. Oh yeah, this one is uh, definitely, it feels a lot faster and smoother than my O3 yeah. P71. Uh, it's only because like the O3 P71 was a little bit more beat up and one of the body mounts was like messed up. And this car like, it doesn't shake at all. I recently got new tires and alignment and mm -hmm. I'm going like, 100 down the highway sometimes yeah. and it's absolutely smooth like this thing is great to drive even right now i feel it a little bit stiffer than my mercury mm -hmm. but it's driving very smooth oh yeah definitely and that yeah pickup i have 273 gears on my lincoln is it a it's an open one right it's an open, open diff yep yeah 273 good on the highway you want to get on the highway uh no no no. i'm just saying mine is good on the highway you oh, get yeah, about yeah. 25 20 up to 28 miles a gallon if it's a straight mm -hmm. how much miles do you get a gallon uh from what i've calculated the best i've gotten is like 20. 20. but with the way i drive usually you got a around. heavy foot huh yeah i got a heavy <laughs> foot usually like 17 man to make it makes any sense and you said you had the rsx that's uh, at a commission or what so that car has around 237,000 miles on mm -hmm. it and it still runs absolutely fine and everything but it has a check engine light for like a cat code and yeah. i've been trying to figure it out and my friends have been telling me oh yeah you need an engine rebuild and oh yeah when you hit VTEC, i can see blue smoke coming out of it mm -hmm. but i'm just like whatever so the car currently is at my friend's house where i work on my cars mm -hmm. and i'm just driving this car around right now because i'm kind of in the market of buying another p71 so if anyone knows give me a phone call another one huh <laughs> Yeah. We got two enthusiasts here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love Panthers, man. But, but yeah, 1200 bucks for you know. this was a steal deal. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't really say I ripped off my friend because he actually wanted to get rid of this. He's yeah. actually texting me right now because he's actually wanting to get help to get another car that has, okay. funny enough, better gas mileage. <laughs> yeah, he, he sold his car to me and he's just like, yeah, I don't really care because like, I just want to get a car that's like better gas mileage. You know anything? I'm like, if you sell me this car, I mean, I could definitely help you buy another car. Yeah. So it's kind of an agreement we made. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. I haven't floored it in a while. I'll tell you yeah, that Yeah, that feels good. It's yeah. got a really strong pull to it. Yep. Yeah, this car definitely is a nice ride. Yeah. Not gonna lie, the paint is a little Oh flaky. yeah, <laughs> the, the clear coat yeah. over like the overspray of like the blue on the main yellow is definitely disgusting. Yeah. But at the same time, if you actually look at the, the body of the car, there really isn't that much dense holes or dings. Yeah, that's true. So I, I have plans to potentially repaint it to yellow actually mm. back to the original color to where it came but i kind of miss having a black car this car isn't actually black you can see that the paint yeah. is more of a dark blue but we'll have to see in the future because body works is a, a lot yeah. of time body work is a lot of... all right all right i think this is it yeah henry thank you for your time man this is definitely a cool crown victoria and i thank you for your time bro no problem Anytime. thank you so much and uh guys if you ever get stuck here in jersey you saw his uh, care package in the trunk he's ready to come out and i remember p71 bra uh got stuck i think he went down to tennessee now or something yeah he's living now in tennessee tennessee now, so but uh henry here came out i was uh very impressed that the whole community at least in our group chat came out and said hey where are you at what can we do how can we get there and um also he got help so anyways henry thank you so much now when i get out of the car if she just want to drive off and i just film you yeah, sure. driving to the sunset definitely <laughs> all right cool man well thanks guys for tuning in we'll be seeing the comments and seeing what you guys have to say uh thanks so much all right all right make man. it again art yep okay there goes henry But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, as we 
continue just to uh, grab Panther platforms for the channel just so people can see the love these cars have and the community that uh, surrounds these cars. Sounds good. Thank you, Henry.